Good day, everyone. This is Armadani. Welcome back to Subsistence. My so uh, so let's try that again. My Subsistence Solo Season Two. There you go. An episode 153, and it's a little bit misty, a little bit dark. Um, I did do one off-camera day to get some wood, and then I went. I had a lockpick on me, and when I was out and about chopping wood, I found this crate. Oh, okay. Got to get you, though. You're right in front of me. And, well, that was nails and 44 rounds. Actually, I'll take that. Thank you very much. And, oh, I can hear a piggy wiggy over there somewhere. Oh, Mr. Pickle Stein's out there somewhere. Um, yeah, carried on. Just chopping wood. That's all I needed to do. And then this happened. I just heard a boom that sounded like my claymore going off. Now, there was a bear around here. I wonder if the bear is not around here anymore. There's a wolf over there. Oh, no. There was a person. Who are you? Where are they? Okay. You call my claymore, Mr. Man. Well done. Hey! Oh. I don't know where you came from. Because Charlie doesn't come down here anymore. So, um, but yeah. You blew up my claymore. Which was here. Okay. Not quite what I was expecting. Don't know what happened to the bear then that was out here. We must have moved away. Oh well. Um, we don't have a claymore. And we need to fix the wall. Okay. Can I go back to my wood chopping now please? So that was my exciting off camera day. And oh look. We're starting the day with lots of excitement. We're starting it with that. Hello piggy. I haven't had a piggy outside the base before, I don't think. So that's good. Let's just check to see if we can see anything else. You were right outside the base. Uh, can't see. Oh, is that another box over there? No, that is just the... That is just the brick. Or oh, not the brick, the stone. Just a quick look. It's a little bit dark. What have we got up there? We've got a wolf. No, that's a deer, isn't it? 80 out of 80. That's a deer over there. I think that's all we've got. Right, so the plan for... Oh, gosh, it got dark there. It was darkest before the dawn. The plan today, just to remind ourselves, we do not have any rogues other than out here that are going to bother us with how far we may go today. So, down the hatch. Down the hatch. Down. There you go. Now... You will have just seen. So the list of things I needed to put in my death box. Oh, I just got to turn my volume down a little bit. I have a pistol here. Let's just load that. Load. Load. Okay. Why are you not loading? Oh, you didn't swap it out. Oh, okay. It doesn't do a straight swap. That's why. Yeah, I always forget that it won't take like for like. Okay. So you go in there so now we have a pistol as well so that's everything isn't it now i was thinking about making boots hmm now okay if you have lots of things in your death box it means when you go to get your body you have all these extra things on so if you've got a complete set of clothes that's one two three four or four or five things you got all these extra weapons yeah so that could be an issue okay oh talking of clothing hang on whilst we're standing here this is why i've got this iron on me oh <laughs> i think they will need repair there you go an extra set of boots i think is worth it okay so that is my personal feeling let's take some of the the you out we're going to go and have a little look out here first of all but, so let me know what you think in the comments. I'm thinking of making a foundation and a box 
to put in my death box. Why, I hear you ask. Well, if when you respawn, you know that you are having to... You, that your body was... Uh, you were full of loot. Yeah? Say that you were full of loot. I was full of loot. And you know that when you go and get your bag back, therefore, you are going to be full. If I had a foundation and a box with me, then when I run off to get my body, all I need to do is drop down a box, a, a foundation and a box, either when I get to my body, if it's in a fairly safe place, or if I've got to, hang on, still turn my volume down. If I've got to, you know, wrestle a cougar again for it, then you just drop the box down before you get to your bag. And then it means you've got somewhere to go and drop your excess gear off because otherwise you're just going to be leaving it there aren't you you're just going to risk dropping the stuff on the floor because you'll be full or you don't have room to take you know the spare set of gear does that make sense i don't know if i've explained that very well but yeah that's what i was thinking what do you reckon and obviously you wouldn't necessarily need to use it every time but you might want to use it do we have yes we do so we have you here. What have we here? So we're just going to look at the start of this a minute. Do, 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 do. So yeah, I thought that that might be as a thing to have in just in case. But that might be, might be a good idea. So yeah, let me know what you think. Now you are going to be higher than one wall, aren't you? So this is the point where, as I said, we are going to start being vulnerable because if we just start taking this bit out, things are going to come in. But this is the safest side to be doing this on. So I think we are going to be doing this, you know? I think we are. Um, and we'll just deal with the consequences. Especially as I've got raids off. Oh, it's a rabbit. I thought it was a oh, there's a box. I'm not getting sidetracked at all. Not at all. Mr. Bunny. Thank you. Come and live with me if you want until I find a chicken. Where did that box go? There's the box. Just check and see that there isn't another fisherman over there. Oh, nails, thank you very much. Bear. Oh, fisherman. <laughs> now, Mr. Bear, are you just going to path out the way? So why is he coming? Oh, he's coming down there. Okay. Yeah, look, the bear's just pathing out the way, which is really annoying. Because I don't want the bear coming over here. That's just annoying. Because that means I can't get the fisherman without getting the bear. Oh. Oh. Oh, he's actually going for a swim. You go for a swim over there, mate. You're just cold now. Now what are you doing? Oh. You are probably... I was going to say, not up to my eyesight this time of the morning. Uh, no, you're not going to do that with that, are you? He's not going to stand still now. I'm too far away. I'm trying to keep an eye on the bear as well. Oh. No, you cannot hit a moving target with this thing. Well, you can, but it's a lucky shot if you do. Oh. Okay. Come on. You could just swim across there. Do you know what? If we swim around this way, I'm getting really sidetracked. This is stupid. That is a stupid amount of ammo just to get one... one fisherman. How ridiculous was that? And now I'm in totally the wrong place to where I want to be. Um... 
Why is that up there? Fiber. I thought I saw another person then. Okay, bear down there. Guess we're coming up this way. I thought I saw a hand symbol. Oh, I'm seeing things. This is not good. This is not good. There's definitely fibre here. There's an onion. Um, do I have a lockpick on me, by the way? Yes, I do have another lockpick. Cool. Couldn't remember if I'd done that. Oh, another rabbit. We really didn't want to be coming this way. Now, I do have two picks on me, so I was clearly thinking about going over and saying hello to the hunters. So I'm wondering whether if I return this stuff to the base, if um, we should just get on with that, you know? Or do we get on with this? Ah, ah, all decisions, decisions. It's not really a contest, Danny. I don't really think anybody believes that this is a contest. Um, I know this is a stupid place to put these, but it's where I'm putting them. Uh, so we're just going to do that. We need to check the fire. Oh, look, let's pick our waters up, shall we? Um, what do we have in the way of ammo on us? Yeah, we're all right for all the stuff and all the things. Oh, and we've got a couple of overflow of those, so let's just drop them off. Uh, not that. That was your idea to put that there, Annie. And now I've put the cordage away that should have gone with the other things. And the ba oh, and the bunny's going in here. Here you go, little bunny. You go in there a minute. Just because, you know. Because you can. I suppose at some point I need to get round to making a, another slot. And yes, I am. I think I am going to look at building up the mass and bits for making a water tank maybe possibly i think that's something that i might be doing um just looking to see if i can see a crate that's a wolf that's a bear that's a lock crate oh now of course last time i did a raid i didn't take the stuff back and i got into trouble so guess what guys we're taking the stuff back oh some point today I'll get over and say hello to hunters I told you it was dangerous turning off uh, revenge attacks because it just means I want to go and say hello all the time but I do understand that that's how sort of you know um, newbie and KJ have sort of gradually built up their their resources it's because if you are doing those raids all the time then obviously you know you come up with stuff oh look I'm one short of getting another lock pick yeah we can do that we can do that other than the fact that now i need to pick back up but oh, no, i've got two boards on me all right ignore that don't worry shush not a problem i do that we'll put you in there we'll put you in there we pick up one two three four of you we put you in those plates are handy and biofuel is always appreciated to eat. Oh, uh, uh, do you know what? We're just going to have one of you. Right. Do this. Whoopsie. But I'm not going to take it with me. Okay? Because, you know, yes, I know if I now see another lock crate, I'm going to go, oh, but then I've just got to come back again. So it's just, I just wanted to get it made. That was, that was it. But my hope is that one of these guys was from this base. I know sometimes they just seem to spat spawn in randomly. I don't know that you can definitely say, oh, there are X number of hunters in this base every single time I come here. I don't, I don't think that it kind of really is going to go like that. Um, well, there's a chicken over there, which I quite needed. Never mind. Right. Did I blow the blow me up or up last time? There's a guy up there and there's a guy over here. But you know what? We're just gonna come in with you today. Right. 
Okay, that's a good start. One down without needing a bandage is a good start. You are going to be annoying. Because you're going to hide behind the railings. And make me bleed. And I always forget the hitbox on this tree. Always. So I stand behind it and then wonder why I'm not hitting him when it's a dead on shot. That is why, Annie. That is why. Right, so that's two. Let's get him. Thank you. There's a box. The fire's gone out. There's the blow me upper at the back. Okay. Let's do this. More nails. Anything on the fire. Oh, I didn't mean to click ignite. I'm so used to clicking to turn it off. There's another bag up there at the back. But let's... Let's do this first. And then let's do this. And let's stand facing this way for once. Oh, thank you. Just so we can see in case anyone comes over the hill. But you know the score. I'm going to knock on the door. And I will bring you in if anything interesting happens. Though actually, whilst I've got you here. Yes, talking of interesting things happening. Today we are doing one of our Christmas treats. I think I said to you before, we've always made all December special for our family. Because of being on the autistic spectrum, it's just been our way of handling it. And so the tradition is that once a week we do a thing as a family. Uh, either it's, you know, have a meal together or take away. It's something special, something we don't normally do. And we try to keep that tradition going, even though the kids are growing up. And today we're off bowling. So we've got two lanes booked, three games each and there's eight of us going all t together so the six of us as a family oh, my best friend or our best friend who's kind of an honorary aunt um and then one of the friends of one of my sons who kind of fits in nicely with us all and just help make up a nice round number so we're going to be going bowling oh i suck at bowling so there's gonna be two teams four of us with the ones who can't play and they're just playing for the heck of it and then <laughs> my husband and three of my boys who are definitely going to be the competitive all out to win ones i think so this could be uh it could be fun i'm looking forward to it so that's today's plan there was something else i was going to tell you guys oh yes i don't think did i put the picture on my i might have put it on my community post for members only but anyway i was had a activity I was doing with my youngest this week. I mean, he's 16, but you know, you know how you can make gingerbread houses? Well, I found this kit that was making a chocolate house. It was a Cadbury's uh, chocolate house kit. I only saw them that one day. I've never seen them in any other shop. Can't find them anywhere else since. But anyway, I saw this thing and thought, this would do. Here goes my pit. And I thought, you know, great. That's a great activity. We'll do that together. So we did, and it says, you know, adult supervision for using a knife. So, yeah, he's 16, but he's like, oh, mum, you can do that bit there, and I don't like using knives. So, <laughs> adult, <laughs> you picked up a very sharp knife. He's one of my spatios. And uh, first thing I did was cut my fingers, <laughs> which he looked at me and said, mum, I'm withdrawing knife privileges from you. <laughs> so he had to finish it, bless him. <laughs> but it was... It, it was a lot of fun. It got very messy. And then we looked at one another one like, where are we going to put this now? Because <laughs> he's far too good to eat that in one whole go. It was about like eight big chocolate bars worth of chocolate. So, um, yeah. We're like, oh, I want to put chocolate in the fridge. Uh, that's not the best place to put it. So, yeah, I think it's sitting on his bookshelf at the moment. Um, yeah. So that's our Christmas activities this week. Just trying to keep a little bit of something special going. Ah, right. That's enough natter. I'll see you in a minute. Oh, nearly through. Of course, we're still waiting for the new update to drop. Every episode I record, I wonder, is this going to be the last one before the update? And will it have come out by the time you watch this? But, oh, is this going to be close in the pit? Eh, no, no, we do need one more. Did I bring another one? 
Yes, there it is. Okay, so let's finish this off. And then we'll use our pistol. I know it's going to take more shots, but we have more shots available, so. Oh, he was there. See, that is why they upgrade the pistol. I really do need to do the speed on this thing. I also need to fix it by the look of it. Right, that's helpful. Those are helpful. That's annoying. Get the guys back from up here. Oh, more fuel bricks. Very helpful. You see, little things like that are going to be even more helpful when you pick them up on raids. Because, you know, it's... um. Oh, have I been leaving their light on all that time? Oh, it amuses me that they don't turn it off. What have we got? Building supplies and ammo. Yeah, okay. I'll take that. That's fine. Now, I'll tell you what. I'm going to have to go over and get this box. Because I've been looking at it all the time. Oh, and there's another one here as well. Just remember the blow me upper, Annie. Wandering around with my pistol out like a mad woman. But yeah, I don't often come over this way to loot, so um do, 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 do. there you go. Come back round here. So that was, you know, probably the best raid I've done in quite a long time. I think you'll agree that in terms of lack of bleeding, health kits, missed shots and generally getting it wrong. I think you'll agree that was a better acquittal than I have been doing recently. Let's just remind ourselves to keep well away by there's some more copper over there. Uh, do we come down this way? We could just get back and carry on with the building, which is what I was meant to be doing in this episode. It's just fibre. I was just checking in case there was, you know, another spawned in fisherman was going to come back I still I don't understand what that guy was doing over there the other day uh, that I put in a, on the clip because you know Charlie don't go that way to fish yeah we, we know that um, so they haven't come down to me for a long long time so yeah I don't know does that mean they're coming back that way Oh, medicinal. It's got to be done. Sorry. It's, um, as I say, these are the days now when we're going out of our way. Now, I see some people have said they're still finding it. Some people that are on experimental. Yeah, I saw those ores over there. Um, that they are still finding, you know, you can just still run and grab as you go. But of course, the thing, why is. Oh, it's a bear. I was thinking there's something behind that tree. Um, and that's fine. Yes, you can still run and grab as you go. You can just grab one out of the bush as you run through. But of course, the whole point about having the bush is that the larger number in one space counteracts the fact that you need more. So if you're only just grabbing one, then you're kind of not making use of that extra. I can't see a fisherman there this time. But I did see a box. So we will come in and pick that up. That's quite a good day's looting. And we've still got time to get a little bit more building done, I think. There we go. Oh, an apple. We will go and put these things away. In fact, do we have spaced crop cordage? No, we don't. So let's put these here. How are we doing? You see, we've got quite a lot of copper. We don't really need to get the copper on, particularly. Other than the fact that it's there and we could have the copper on, I guess. Really? Well, oh, that was quite a few more planks. I'm happy with that. And some more plates. Look at that. So, plates and nails we will keep on us. You go in there. You go in there. We will turn you to cordage. And then we will pick some more of you up. Um, you go in there, you go in there, you go in there. Let's just chuck you in here. We don't need you turned on, but we will do that. Oh, potassium. I don't put potassium away. I want to get a little bit of potassium from the guys. 
Boop, 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 boop. Let's put the fruit and veg away. Oh, we'll have that one. Uh, what else didn't I do? You come in here. And let's go and see what we can get done. Fuel bricks. That was very handy. We, we, we like having the fuel bricks. You thought I was going to forget, didn't you? And if I'm brutally honest, I had. It's only because I just opened them to get that out. <laughs> uh, no, not in there. See? It was your own plan, Annie. Uh, we're just going to put this in here for the minute. We'll sort that out another time. So... Question is, oops. Oh, bother. Uh, well, yeah, because you're going to be in my way, aren't you? There you go. I remembered it this time. I remembered the bit about <laughs> if you stand too far back on the other side of it. The double barrel isn't as useful. See? You said you can't teach an old Annie new tricks. So, we're going to want to start to come in from here or carry on one further. Let's have a look. Move this down. That's quite disconcerting because you couldn't hear it go. Now, I'm not going to want it that high, am I? That's the thing. So, we're going to need to take this one. I think this will work. Put you up there. And then we put you here. Uh, turned around the right way. There you go. And then we put you back down. There you go. See? Easy as. He says. Turning you around the right way. Right. Okay. So that's going to want a half wall underneath and here's one I prepared earlier see this is what I'm hoping is that I can do this and work out to make it a little bit neat to try and keep the halves on the bottom instead of on the top there you go right so we bring you down and we might have to do the same trick again um, hang on. do it to there Oh, we might get away. And now I think we will need to bring you and do that the same, I think. That's going to be getting harder and harder to do. Let's move this one. And then I'm going to do something with those levitating plant beds because they do annoy me. There you go. Can I get you up there? Yes, because I need to be able to get you down from there in a second. Uh, is that in the right place? Yes. Can we, can we, can we, can we, can we? Well, you know what we can do? This will be easy. This this, this this, will amaze you at how clever this thought was. <laughs> there you go. Now I can reach. Right, bring this one down. Uh, yeah, so you go down there. There you go. Nice. And then... Do we think now a triangle piece... A triangular foundation to because I'm going to need to have one of those around aren't I um, and now I did actually that's the point I did think about where I'm going to want to put a a window there because it needs to be at a height that when you stand at the window you can actually see through so I'm wondering if that one should have been the window Probably. Oh, are you going to let me sort that out now? Uh, turn you around. And now, can we move this one? Yes. Woohoo. Okay, let's just put you <laughs> there a minute. And triangular one is going to, which is there. It's going to come in there and then turn you round to uh, 
no, 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 no. There? Is that going to be too sharp? That's going to be too sharp. Ah, so we don't need to come in on the triangle yet. We need to come down and we'll do that further down. Okay, well, well there's one we prepared earlier. Bring you over to here. See? Move this one. All this jiggling and jiggering around. Not jiggling, Annie. Sounds like something completely different. Oh, that's not in the right place. That is so not in the right place, is it? Let's try that again. Right, at least we've made a start. So you go into there. Well, a rabbit. Uh, you kind of can't just wander past like that, I'm afraid. And I do need the rotten meat. So now we could snap you to the right place. Hopefully. There you go. Is that the right place this time? Yes, it is. Cool, cool, cool. Now, let me know if you want me to do more of this off camera. No, I can't do it. <laughs> because I understand that this isn't the most riveting thing to watch. So, you know. But then a lot of people I know as well don't like coming in and seeing all the stuff that I, I, I did off camera. So, um, yeah, let me know. Now, will you let me take you up a half? Because that's what I want to do is to snap up a half bit. No, not that bit. That bit. You should let me snap you half here, but you're not going to, are you? No. You will here, look. That's stupid. You let me do it there. Okay, so if we do it there, will it now snap it to itself or not? Oh, I guess. Yeah. Yes, it will. That's really weird. Okay, except for now you're the wrong way around. Uh, yeah, because I still want to have a another wall on top of that don't I or underneath that I mean do we oops do we have another quarter wall here half wall yes I think these are all half walls along here that we will be able to use up so that's something there we go uh -huh. now this time you are going to Come down to there, I think. Uh, and a whole wall there? What do we reckon? A whole wall? Yeah, because we're not going to want a window wall there because anybody shooting through that otherwise is going to be shooting at... Um, a, a, an angle that is not safe for me okay so that's got too dark now so I know I can lighten this up for you guys but as I said I can't lighten it up for me <laughs> so I'm doing it so that's that right light on uh, did we pick the lock pick up we did not so there you go uh, so let's move these bits out just so that's tidy uh, let me know in the comments, as I say, whether you are happy to, for me to do some more of that building on camera. Uh, we are going to use that up just in case. As I fire... Oh, 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 that was good. Put you on. Oh, I can make some steak and eggs now. Got a couple of steaks. Excellent. 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 Sorry. Okay, so that's those in there. Cool. I still had cloth to put away. From that. And I still didn't put you away in there. Right. That's it. Oh, yeah, and we've got a rabbit in there, but I still need to look at getting a chicken, really. Not past midnight yet, because their lights are not back on. Okay, cool. Well, yeah, so we've, we've got actually quite a quite a good bit. You can't see out here. It's too dark. 
but we've made a good start on that. I'd quite like to get one side finished as quickly as possible. So yeah, I can do some of it off camera. I can do all of it off camera. I can do none of it off camera. Let me know what you think. Uh, if I keep that on me, then I may remember the fact that I want to do the plants. Put you in there. Let's get you turned on for overnight. Let's just check what's happening here. Yeah, we're still on you. That's fine. So I must have some more ore in my drill. Yes, we do. So we'll come back around and put you in. Oop, I actually remembered to go the right way around for once. Woohoo! It's a miracle. It's a Christmas miracle. But that's those cooking. Check them up again. Yeah, they're back. Boys, back town. Right, Glacial Pond. Anybody nearer to us in Glacial Pond? No? Oh, right close to Centre Pond. Okay, so if we go looting tomorrow out into the valley, then we could go for those. Or we could go the other way and come down. You see, I did quite a bit of that the other day, haven't I? So that's, that's looking a lot better, a lot clearer on that side. I still, yeah, you can tell I don't go up into Cougar Country very much. Okay, so let me know. What do you think the plan should be for the next episode? Maybe, 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 maybe we might have the update and then that will give me something to do. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Please don't forget to click the like button on the video. You know it makes all the difference. I can't stress that enough. Introduce yourself if you're new. Chat, say hi in the comments. Tell me what you've been up to this week. You know the usual score. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye now.